Hi, I'm Carl Fogarty, and this is my Google search challenge in association with Bike Show. Okay, here we go. How is Carl Fogarty? How old is Carl Fogarty? He's very, very old. He's 54, I think. <laughs> For what I can remember. That's it, really. <laughs> He's 54. I think I am. Yeah, I was born in 65, so i 55 this year. The next one is... How tall is Carl Fogarty? Carl Fogarty is, I should lie here, but I'm not gonna do it. He's five foot eight, which is average height, I believe. It might not be, actually. It might be below average nowadays, but um, five foot eight inches, a whole eight inches. There you go. And the next one. How was Carl Fogarty discovered? Really? <laughs> well, my mum and my dad obviously got together, <laughs> and I guess that's how he was he was made, how he was discovered. I'm not sure how to answer that one really. Um, I'm presuming it is, it's associated with uh, racing motorcycles, and uh, I, I was kind of I guess discovered by the factory teams or whatever. I mean, just by winning races really, um, I guess, and winning the TTF One World Championship as a privateer, and winning the World Superbike Rounds as a privateer. In 92, I think that's how I was kind of, I made a name for myself, how I was kind of discovered. That's kind of the question you guys are after, I don't know. <laughs> how many world titles did Carl Fogarty win? Carl Fogarty won seven world titles, um, three in, uh, sorry, two in TT Formula One World Championships, which is a world championship based on, on the street circuits like the Alaman TT. I won one endurance world title uh, with Kawasaki in 1992. And uh, probably ones people are associated with the four World Superbike titles are uh, winning World Superbike. Is how many bones has Carl Fogarty broken? Many, maybe hundreds, I don't know. I start from the bottom, yeah, I done my ankle, broke my leg three times, cruciate knee, knee ligament, I guess, yeah. Wrist, collarbone, ribs, shoulder, fingers, quite a few, probably missed a few out there as well. <laughs> that. Okay, here we go. Where did Carl Fogarty? Where did Carl Fogarty grow up? Grew up, even. Grow up. Never grown up, as you can tell. Uh, in Blackburn, where I still am. Just on the outskirts of Blackburn now, and this is um, where I've been all my life, really, I guess. Uh, it is, yeah. Probably only about two or three miles away from here as a crow flies is where I was I was brought up. In a, well, I was brought in the first two years of my life, I was in a house in a, an area called Mill Hill in Blackburn. Real posh area. Not. Then moved to Luigi Banks Road in uh, in Fenny School, so which I went to where I went to school. Yeah, then went to Dawnvale High School <laughs> most of the time, and then um, but yeah, I've always lived in the stayed in my hometown of Blackburn. Next one, where did Carl Fogarty meet his wife? I met Michaela, I guess through my sister originally. Uh, it was one of my sister's friends, probably the late seventies, I guess, uh, like 90, around that sort of time. She went to school with my sister or a drama class or something and I remember her coming home with her back to stay at our house and I thought, yeah, she looks alright, you know, quite fit. So that's where I met her, we kind of like, I guess, childhood kind of sweethearts in some way. So I was probably about 14 or 15, Michaela about 13, that's when I first met her. And then we kind of got, got together and started going out, uh, I was 21, she was, I was, sorry, I was 22, she was 21. And uh, yeah, we've been together ever since. Next one. Where was Carl Fogarty born? I was born in Blackburn, where I still am today. I think I was in a hospital called Queen's Park Hospital, where I was born in Blackburn on the 1st of July, 1965. Best day ever in the history of the world. Final question on this one. Where is Carl Fogarty way? In Blackburn, obviously. <laughs> yeah, it's a few miles from here, over the other side of Blackburn, a new road, and put in a bit of a link road. So yeah, it's there. It's a really cool road. The coolest road now in Lancashire, obviously. It's named after me. <laughs> Boom. Did Carl Fogarty do you what? Did Carl Fogarty win, but... <laughs> no, he didn't. He was robbed of it in 1999, actually. Sports personality of the year. Yeah, so when BBC were with the BBC back then, refused to give me a phone number. How did they give me a phone number? 
who knows what might have happened with the fan base that I had at that time and obviously the brand's axe thing and all that. Certainly would have been the top three, no question that I think with the, with the public kind of outcry response to it all. But I didn't even get a phone number for that top six or eight, whatever it was, so. Okay, another one. Did Carl Fogarty win I'm a Celeb? Of course he did. Of course he won I'm a Celeb. Probably the, the biggest TV show out on the, in the UK. Amazing experience that was. Proper roller coaster ride of emotions from, from start to finish. I'll be honest with you, I never thought of winning it in a million years. Uh, I thought I'd walk out, to be honest, before I even got to vote off, but I'd get sick of the people in there and the board and the food and whatnot, but no, I stuck at it, I got a good bunch of people in there, and uh, yeah, I think I surprised myself, really. I learned a lot about myself in there, and uh, yeah, due to you nice people back home, public support, I won the biggest, probably the biggest TV show in the UK, so awesome, King of the Jungle. It's not Tarzan anymore, foggy. Okay, did Carl Fogarty ride a Honda RC45? He did indeed in 1996, finishing fourth in a World Championships series on it. A bit of a disastrous year, some kind of thought of it was as, as really, even myself at some point, to some extent, sorry. One of quite a few races, I even went down to the last race of the year because still won the World Championships, so it wasn't that big a disaster, but the bike didn't suit me on every circuit, I had to really struggle with it on some circuits. Mainly lean angle, uh, mid corner speed, it was, it was difficult to get the, the grip for somebody who carried a lot of corner speed and the lean angle like I did compared to the Ducati. But when it worked, it, it worked really, really well. It was a very, very fast bike, probably the fastest bike I've ridden in, in, in World Superbikes, to be honest. But yeah, I rode an RC45. Final one on here. Did Carl Fogarty win the Isle win Win the Alaman TT race. Yes, he won a few of them. As well as the outright lap record, which stood for seven years. Place I was brought up really with as a, as a kid. All my childhood memories are, are of the Alaman TT. Watched my father race there for many years. Finishing second, his best result behind Joey Dunlop. Yeah, it's a place that, um, it's got a special place in the old heart as, as the Alaman. A very emotional place for me. But yeah, it's, it's an honor to win that race, senior TT in the conditions I won it in. But more importantly, I've been the fastest guy ever around there for seven years, so. Uh, more! Okay, when did Carl Fogarty, when did he what? When did Carl Fogarty win Amsterdam? I believe it was December 2014. Or was it 15? I think it was 2014, it was 2014 because I won Series 14. Series 14, 2014, obviously. Okay, next one. When did Carl Fogarty, sorry, when did Carl Fogarty retire and why? I retired through injury, I picked up a a head injury and a, a, a massive shoulder injury and, and a big crash in Australia in 2000. I think I knew straight away really with the extent of the injury and it wasn't, I wasn't going to be come back and I didn't really admit it for a while, not to anybody else today, but I think I kind of knew myself. So Professor Andrew Carr, specialist on the shoulder down at Oxford, and he said you'll never get the use back of it that you had before, like eight, you probably get 75% use back and the movement as well a bit restricted, so. The decision was made for me, um, so that's why I retired through uh, injury in, in, in 2000, 20 years ago. Okay. When did Carl Fogarty start racing? I started schoolboy motocross in 1981. I did that for two years, 81, 82. Wasn't particularly that good at it really. I finished second in the local championship round here, but Never really felt at home. I never, I never really had the aggression and determination to win, which I had when as soon as I went road racing, which was a bit strange really when I look back on it. So my first road race would have been, short circuit racing would have been at Aintree. I think it was August time, or July or August 1983. I did about 10 races that year on my dad's Ducati to get rid of the orange jacket to start 84 as in my first Full season road racing in 1983, about the summertime is when I started road racing. Final one on here. When did Carl Fogarty become a pro racer? That would have been in about 19, in 1989 really. I did, I won the TTF1 championship as a privateer in 88. So I turned professional in 1989. I got a few sponsors, Honda helped me out a little bit. My main sponsor was Appleby Glade, Dave Orton. Uh, I saw him recently actually, he's um, a great, a great fellow, a great supporter of bike racing over the years. So it would have been 1989, I won the TT as well, first TT, and won the, won the race on the short circuit, won the TTF1 World Champs that year. So I kind of turned professional that year and was making a living out of the racing motorcycles and then I signed for Honda in 1990 so in, uh, in 1989 yeah. Okay the next board is what is Carl Fogarty doing now? Answering these questions for you guys. Um, now I'm involved with CCM motorcycles, I like a 
performance director basis of the own foggy foggy uh, CCM Spitfire as well in the range of Spitfire bikes that CCM do. I do quite a few chat shows, Mike Shore ambassador obviously as you guys know, Bobby LS2 helmets. Uh, I got my own beer, a foggy beer, foggy gold, uh, by the Crankshaft Brewery, a local brewery in the Preston area. Just a lot of personal appearances, really, classic kind of events, shows, things like that. Um, still very, very busy. In fact, too busy sometimes. Last year I was away a lot, a lot of the summer, which I kind of plan to cut back a little bit this year, just have, have a bit more fun stuff, really. You know, just riding the off-road bikes, the lads, do a bit of fishing. But yeah, it's still, still very, very busy, to be honest. What is Carl Fogarty's star sign? A star sign is Cancer. Not a particularly nice sounding word. That's what it is. Born in July, so my star sign is Cancer. What was Carl Fogarty's first race? My first race would have been a schoolboy motocross race at a circuit called Lone Hay. I still have sleepless nights over it actually because the, the hill was like that. The steepest hill in the world. Sure, if I went back now, it's probably probably like that. But yeah, it was there in 1981. I can't remember what I finished now. It wasn't very well. It wasn't very high up, I don't think. But um, it was called Lawn Hay. Uh, it was a race, it was a track, well, the motocross field in, uh, near Rosendale. Um, yeah, we were a horrible, scary, steep hill. I could never get up it. Well, the first race as a road race would have been Aintree. That was the local circuit in 1983. What car does Carl Fogarty drive? Just about to sell it actually, but it's an SQ7, as well as my uh, Volkswagen, Tran Volkswagen Transporter van. I do have a new car coming soon. Don't like showing off though, so I'm not telling you what it is. <laughs> what was the most painful injury Carl Fogarty suffered? I can't remember much about the last one, which finished my career, so I can't say that really. Um, because I was knocked out with the head injury and, um, and whatnot. The one I had when I broke my leg pretty bad. Very bad actually, a compound fracture of the femur, the bone was poking out. Okay, here we go again. Is Carl Fogarty married? Yes, he is married to Michaela, and it will be for nearly 30 years. It will be 30 years in 2021. Um, so actually their anniversary coming up in next month, so it'll be 29 years, so. Yes, 30 years I've been married nearly. <laughs> I'll leave it at that, I think. <laughs> um, there we go, it's Carl Fogarty dead. Some would say he's a bit dead sometimes, behind the years, but, um, between the years, sorry. Uh, but, no, he's very much alive. There you go. Um, okay. Is Carl Fogarty on social media? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> I am at Carl Fogarty on Twitter, at Carl Fogarty1 on Insta, and official, uh, Carl Fogarty official on um, Facebook, so I am. To be honest, I'm not a massive fan of it, to be honest, uh, but it's, it's here. It's not going anywhere, and uh, yeah, it does have its plus points, I guess, in some ways. It'll like help me find my dog when we lost it the other day, so here we go. Is Carl Fogarty a sir? Not yet. I'm just waiting for the phone call from uh, from Elizabeth. I think she's called Elizabeth, isn't she still? Yeah, Miss Queen Elizabeth. Just waiting for the call, ma'am. Sir Foggy, right, Sir Foggy. Just waiting. Be soon now, no doubt. Last one, is Carl Fogarty still riding motorcycles? Yes, very much so. Love riding motorcycles. Probably riding more now than I did when I was racing, to be fair. I'm off in a Next week, actually, with the lads, we're off to Spain, doing a lot of off-road riding for two or three days. Um, obviously involved with CCM, I like the little Spitfire bike out in the summer. On the roads, uh, motocross, I like my motocross bike over a little track near, called Win Stanley MX near, near Wigan. Completed again, another one. So that was my Google search challenge. Uh, I'm off to go and have a look now to see which one of those actually come up.